I got a comment today regarding my video I had made about importing audio into Rough Animator. The commenter asked, how do you import audio on an iPad in Rough Animator? So I thought I'd make a quick video about that on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So I've got a new project here on my iPad with Rough Animator. And if I go ahead and click here and click on the Import Audio button, then we get the option to either bring in some music or we can browse files. So I want to browse because I previously put some audio files in my iCloud account. So I want to get out of this on my iPad. And you can see the locations here. We've got iCloud Drive and we've got on my iPad. So in my case, I want to click on iCloud Drive and I've put them in my Documents folder. And you can see here I've got three different files here. So if I click on this one, it's a WAV file. This is what I've been using recently. And you can see it does bring in the audio file. But if I try and play it, it's the same thing on the computer. It won't play. So the trick is we need to extend this first frame of our layer one to the extent of the length of the audio file. And now I should be able to click this and play and listen to the audio. This is test audio from the expat animator. And at this point, I should also be able to scrub the audio. This is, this is this. And if I want to bring in a second audio file, I would have to first remove this audio file. So now that that's gone, I can go here and import a second file. And let's go browse to where we were here before. And you can see I've also got an MP3 and an AIFF files. And both of these work. I've tested this out. And so here's the MP3, and I can hit play. This is test audio from the expat animator. And if I want to try that last uh, AIFF file, let's remove that, and then let's bring that one in. And now let's go ahead and play that. This is test audio from the expat animator. So those are three different audio file types that Rough Animator can handle on the iPad. There's probably more, but uh, you should be okay with any of those. Now that you've got your audio in and we've extended at least one of the layers to the full length of the audio, we're able to now create new layers or animate on the layer we've got here within Rough Animator. So I hope that helps clear things up a little bit about importing audio into Rough Animator on your iPad. And I'll show you real quick here, if we go into settings and we scroll down, we can see I'm running Rough Animator version 2.07 for iOS. So I hope that was helpful. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.